Glasses for rule followers. Very easy to penetrate. You can just break it, throw a stone at it, you name it, you're inside of a building. But this is what we saw in the classroom doors in Parkland, where you could just reach through. This same exact glass with 3M 8 mil window film. We're going hot, we're good. We'll see how many punches it takes to get through. So two hits. And if this was actually anchored inside of a building, where it's not moving on us, it actually is easier to punch. The more rigid that it is, it's easier to punch. A 25-year-old man who was a former student is in custody. And take a look at this. This is new cell phone video showing the moment some students were walking out of the school. You can see them in the hallway making their hands visible, and you can also see the strong police presence. Part of the video also shows busted glass where we're told that suspect shot through to get into that school. Hot. So coming here, an AR-15 shot this. It should be falling apart. Two punches that weren't even that hard. You can see the blood on it. <laughs> on all of these but now transitioning no one's got a baseball bat with them we want them to use their ar-15 we want them to use a shotgun their handgun if you go back to our older videos before our last president guns became so expensive and our ammo you would see us ruining ar-15s like crazy using them as a baseball bat but instead we're going to use a baseball bat come in and attack the hole so this is the that I explained to you. Rips like paper. It's not adding any ballistic protection, nothing, but this is still all in place. Just for you to see, still no penetration. Ridiculously strong for film, but this is going to be a joke compared to when I show you our glass. getting to a point. What you see here is a failure in anchoring. These are demo frames. So in your frames at the school, everything gets anchored into the system. Because we're on the road, these pop in and out. We'll show you it in a little bit. This is not as strong as what you would have at the school in the way we anchor. We do not anchor into wood. We won't work with wood. You have to use an 18 inch or 18 gauge uh, vision light kit when you do wood doors. But this gives you an idea here. And you can tell I'm gassed. I'm fat and I'm out of shape too. <laughs> but it's like hitting a brick wall. It's not fun. It's a fight. From going from a fist to shooting through with 3M to fighting and breaking a gun on trying to get through something like that. And hopefully they shoot themselves when they swing it around and they're hitting it. You know, teachers and staff that work in schools, really their first and foremost is to protect the students that they serve. You know, a lot of people say, oh, that's happening somewhere else. It's never going to happen here. And I think I've always had the attitude that we can't bank on it's never going to happen here. And if it does, we're going to be prepared. It's in the second district that I worked in, within two weeks of us getting the film um, put on at least this main entry area, we did have an incident. We had a student um, that hadn't been attending school, showed up, um, had a weapon. We had everything locked down. You know, the, the student comes into a, an area and everything else is locked down. And there's a, a person that sits there and opens up the doors once everybody's been cleared. Well, this student walked in, didn't listen to anybody. We did have a desk that wasn't nailed down and the student you know, tried to bang, tried to do anything they could, picked the desk up, you know, rammed against the windows, took forever right for the it, so it was about eight minutes before that student even gained access which allowed for us to lock all the internal doors put everybody in lockdown call law enforcement 
and do what we needed to do. And I, I believe strongly that we saved lives that day. You, you say it can happen, and when it does happen, then people start to say, you know, whoa, you know, this is really what Kim's been talking about. Um, and so that, that really helped us continue to make that investment over time. Clear. One of the range guys want to give me a clear? clear? So even here when it comes to classroom glass, we're keeping the shooter out at this point. You know, punching it, there's no point. Coming through and it becomes soft and I can do this for an hour. They keep hitting it, but we're not getting through and the gun's not poking through this either. At this point, coming through. Step oh, back if you don't have um, eyes on. But the way, yeah, you might want glasses. You can stay up there, you just might want glasses. So here, when you see, what we made was a product that's super rigid, and then the interior of what we cook inside our glass makes it really flexible. And this becomes a pain in the ass. And I don't know if you did breach, and I'm guessing you did being a Marine. But the Marines, too, are incredible breachers. I had a few of them on our SWAT team. This is what wears you down, so I'm going to be tired at the end of this. I'm going to give this some hits. Literally, I should be able to punch through some of these and come through, and it's like hitting a brick wall. And if I hit where there's barely any shots, it's terrible. But once it starts softening up, this becomes a pain in the ass. Twenty, twenty-five hits, over a hundred rounds. Has anyone ever seen a glass company shoot their glass this much? And I'm, I'm gassed. <laughs> but I'd love for you to come check it out, come see it. Let me get my arm to stop bleeding too. Come take a look, and then we're gonna pull it out in a second here for you too. But come take a look; it will cut you. I've seen where the boys in red are charging. Even they typically sell super cheap. They're just local distributors. But I've seen where they've charged more than us and they're just giving away garbage. So I want to point out a couple things. Number one, our typical school shooter is not his size. All right. So oh, thanks right. a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I meant uh, mushrooms. Oh. So, yeah. Did we get that on tape? Tell that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I mean, other than homes at the movie theater, just really knowing your size has typically been in our, our school shooters. The second thing that I think is is what I want you to expand on is watching the trajectory of the round after it goes through the glass, okay? So that was 5.56 or 223? 2.23 on that one. Okay, so if you were watching the 9mm rounds, they were hitting the dirt. Mm -hmm. They hit the feet, so all the energy is gone. Right. There's a big difference of what I'm shooting our film with compared to what we're shooting their glass with um, and what it does to the bullet. Again, we can't, you can't afford to stop the bullets. Some of the richest out there, they cannot afford what we really want to protect our, our kids in our schools with. It would be great, but we can't afford it. Even the richest school in the nation, right? We're looking at window film, not even the glass for portions here yet. Um, they can't afford it. 
So until then, what is the best that we can get? I know for a fact, this is the best we can get. You guys witnessed it, you felt it, you heard it. We have an opportunity to end the story of Active Shooter, but we can't do it without you. We're here for you. We're a resource. I really, I care if you buy our products because we want to give you something great, but I could care less if we sell another thing. What we're doing is putting back into the schools. We are giving back, we're keeping our prices down, we're doing the best we can to protect the right way. And if you call us, you have questions, you want to know about a product, something that you're looking at, more than likely one of my 33 subject matter experts have dealt with. From FBI, Secret Service, Homeland Security. So use us, call us, even if you're not using us, we are more than happy to help. I promise you, you will be able to get a hold of us. So if you want to give us an opportunity, I'm not saying an opportunity to buy from us, but an opportunity to work with you, whether it's free. And Jack, you can testify to that with Bay County Schools down here coming in. Yeah, they, uh, Bay County Schools had Tom come down and facilitate a presentation, a seminar. And the response, the school district got from all the parents after seeing the publicity, that was amazing. They were so happy with the school district that they were having Tom and his group put on that safety conference. And uh, thanks to him and his team, uh, Bay County is now in a much better position from the school district standpoint to go get those funds because the community supports it. So it's a, it's a big plus when you can do that. And uh, the thing I'm terribly embarrassed about is that that and I agree with you 100 percent and they, they've been great so you know Dag not only jumped on board but they have our glass protected their one of their buildings um, and on top of that we've done AIA presentations continuing education for our, his whole entire firm every architect that works there has been through training but I appreciate you and I'll say we are I know how sensitive you are yes I am I, <laughs> I did good today I didn't I didn't break down but it, it is it's very tough being a floor. I, I appreciate that a lot, Jack. Very much. It's all true. Appreciate all y'all coming out too. That's, yeah. Uh, yeah.